morning, Tintin. Welcome to today's video. This is Sana Khan, your mathematics master teacher from Vedantu. So guys, today I have brought for you guys a very interesting and a very important video where I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks with the help of which you can actually finish the entire R.D. Sharma book, right? So we know that NCRT is this fat, R.S. Agrawal is this fat, but when it comes to R.D. Sharma, it is this fat book, right? And it becomes so difficult to complete the entire book. What to do? Can we really complete it? Well, today I'm going to share you guys some tips and tricks and will help you all in understanding what is the perfect way to study from R.D. Sharma book. Not just for your board exam, even for your school exams or for your regular uh, classes or even for your future mathematics uh, subjects. All right, guys. So let's begin. Now, we know that most of the students after watching the width of the R.D. Sharma books go like, ye humse na ho paega, <laughs> right? But aap se ho paega, tension mat lo. All you need is a strategy, is a good strategy to complete the entire book. Okay, so let's begin, Bacho, with our strategy. I'm going to share with you all very good tips with examples that if you follow, you will be able to complete entire R.D. Sharma in this much time. <laughs> okay, step number one, what you have to do is you have to complete the NCRT book first. Never ever start from R.D. Sharma. You will be absolutely lost. Aap kaha shuru karo, kaha khatam karo, isi mein gum ho jaoge. Aur aap kabhi R.D. Sharma shuru nahi kar paoge. So make sure that you are first completing NCRT book. Solved example as well as exercise question. Iska ek aur reason hai, jo mein thori der baad aapko bataoongi. Thik hai. Step number two is, before starting R.D. Sharma book, just do a quick revision of the chapter from your notes. And whatever concepts and formulas you have learned till now, just quickly revise them all. You can do that, right? It's very simple. So just do that uh, before you start your R.D. Sharma chapter. And it can be sometimes good that you are completing two chapters and after that you are starting R.D. Sharma. Not immediately, okay? Step number three. Once you have picked your R.D. Sharma book, what you have to do is you have to quickly run through the questions. Read the question. Kya karna hai? Read the question and understand the level of the question and mark it. If you feel the question is easy, just write average. If you feel the question is of medium level, not easy but not very difficult, write M in front of it. Pencil se M lik dena. If you feel that it is very difficult and you don't even know how to approach it, just write D for difficult in front of that question. Okay? So, first of all, go through all the questions that you have. Step number four. Sorry. Uh, basically, first, let me show you examples how you can differentiate what are easy question, medium question and difficulty level question. For example, for the chapter of linear equations in two variables. If you have a question like this, the larger of two supplementary angle exceed the smaller angle by 18 degree, find them. It's very easy question. You know what are supplementary angles. And in the question, a direct relationship is given that the larger angle exceeds the smaller angle by 18 degree. It's so simple. Simply you'll form the equations and you'll solve it. What are medium level question? Generally, work dot day concepts are... If you know the concept, you'll be able to do it. But if you don't know the concept, it becomes very difficult for you. So... It is not easy. It is neither difficult. So such type of question are medium level question. And when you see a question like this, it's ka length dekh kar hi kai bacho ko ye difficult lag jata hai. And when you read it, it is a little difficult question because the concept of profit and loss, the concept of uh, selling price and cost price and the concept of linear equation is involved. So it is a lengthy and a difficult question. So mark out average, medium and difficult. Why? Because step number four says that you have to start from the easy level question first. Why again? To boost your confidence. If you start from difficulty level question, you'll be like, oh my God, Adi Sharma is so tough. 
मुझसे तो ना हो पाएगा भैया मैं तो क्विट कर रही हूँ या क्विट कर रहा हूँ सो रादर देन क्विटिंग ट्राई टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एवरेज एंड मीडियम लेवल क्वेश्चन सो दैट योर कॉन्फिडेंस विल बूस्ट अप एंड यू विल हैव द विल एंड द करेज टू सॉल्व फर्दर क्वेश्चन राइट नेक्स्ट स्टेप नंबर फाइव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल when you are able to solve average level question move on to medium level questions and then move on to hard level question because again you will have to develop the understanding slowly 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 of the concepts as well as of the variety of question now some very very important points that you have to keep in mind while studying from rd sharma listen to it very carefully okay try to understand that you cannot complete the entire rd sharma book no matter what theek hai aap puri ki puri rd sharma book ka har ek question nahi kar sakte ho agar har ek question karoge to kya hoga ya to science chhut jayega ya to sanskrit chhut jayega ya to hindi nahi pad paoge ya to english nahi pad paoge aur aapko khelne koodne khane peene ka time nahi milega theek hai so you cannot complete rd sharma book entirely but you can complete it smartly kaise two things solve only the unique questions theek hai to aapko agar puri ki puri rd sharma ki book complete karni hai to sirf aur sirf unique questions ko try karo jaise ek money wala question solve kar liya jahan pe notes wala concept hota hai ek perimeter ka question solve kar liya ek work dot day ka concept solve kar liya to teen alag type ke concept aapne solve kar liya ab in teen concept mein maybe you don't know perimeter formula so you will learn something new maybe you don't know work dot day concept so first you will learn work dot day concept then you will solve this question hai na solving different type of question will give you more knowledge right next put a simple cross or skip simply the question which are very very similar for example these two questions question number 1 question number 2 they both are based on angle sum property question number 1 solve kar liya question number 2 ko skip kar do similarly plotting the graph question gloria is walking along the path represent the situation graphically a train a is moving like this train b is moving like this represent the situation graphically both are same type of question so agar question number 1 kar liya hai question number 2 ko स्किप कर दो क्रॉस कर दो इससे आपको बाद में रिवाइज करते वक्त याद रहेगा कि कौन सा यूनिक क्वेश्चन है कौन सा कॉमन क्वेश्चन है ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट थिंग टू कीप इन माइंड इज वेट लेट मी चेक माई वीडियो हाँ इट्स कमिंग ऑफ नेक्स्ट थिंग टू कीप इन माइंड इज स्किप एब्सोल्यूटली द थियोरिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ ऑल द चैप्टर बिकॉज यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इट इन एन बुक सो नो नीड टू रिपीट इट आर डी शर्मा में थ्योरी जो है वो कभी कभी बहुत ज्यादा दी होती है सो वेन यू सिट एंड स्टार्ट लर्निंग द थ्योरी इट इज अ वेस्टेज ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज यू आर लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स विच आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड प्लस यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न थिंग्स फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी विच यू आर अगेन लर्निंग विच इज अगेन नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सो वाई टू लर्न इट ट्वाइस लर्न इट ओनली वंस एंड लर्न इट परफेक्टली सो स्किप द थियोरिटिकल पार्ट बिकॉज यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इट इन एन सी आर टी एंड टू मोर थिंग्स Don't solve NCERT questions and examples. Do you know R D Sharma book has a lot of question where at the end bracket me it will be written N C E R T. So, जब N C E R T का question है तो आप क्यों कर रहे हो N C E R T तो you have already solved it ना put a cross N C E R T exemplar. If you have already solved the N C E R T exemplar, put a cross. You don't need to solve it again. Skip that question. so whenever you are starting a question look at the end of the question whether ncert ncert exemplar something like that is written or not but one thing to note over here that if at the end of the question it is written something like this cbse 2000 what does it mean ki cbse 2000 board exam mein this question has come so always 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 attempt the previous year questions from rd sharma so in rd sharma if they have given you 2010 ka 2020 ka 20 ka to nahi hoga of course 2019 ka 2018 ka please solve these questions don't you ever skip it 
because they will give you an idea what type of question can come in your exam. All right. So do attempt previous year questions. And next is, as I said earlier, keep in mind, don't start with difficult question. It will decrease your confidence. It will make you feel that R.D. Sharma is a very tough book. It is a very lengthy book. It is takes so much time and blah, blah, blah. So please don't start from difficult question. And that's all. So what are you waiting for? Jump onto your R.D. Sharma book and solve each and every chapter. Start solving it. But smartly. You have to be smart enough to pick out unique questions. Don't do NCRT question. Definitely do uh, previous year CBSE board questions. And also uh, if two questions are looking similar, are based on same concept, then skip one of them. All right, Bacho. So remember that R.D. Sharma book is just for practicing, for gaining the extra knowledge, the extra knowledge which you will learn from unique type of questions. It is not for understanding of topics. If you want to understand the topics, then please only prefer NCERT, nothing else. For class 9 and class 10. Class 11 or 12 ki baat kuch aur hai, theek hai. So guys, that was all for today's class. I hope you enjoyed it today. Now, I hope that you all know, if you don't, let me tell you that. Right now, you're watching this video on Vedantu's channel. And Vedantu is an online education platform where we provide you the best quality education from the master teachers of Vedantu who have high experience of many, many years. So if you also want to join my classes and other teachers, you can enroll Vedantu's Pro Courses. The link is given in the description of the video. Click on the link, go to the website, use my coupon code SKEPRO to get a 10% discount. All right, Bacho, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit on the like button and subscribe. See ya.